Hello everyone. This session, I will cover the scikit learn code for the DB scan algorithm. So in the previous session, already we discussed uh, the DB scan algorithm with one numerical example. So DB scan or density based spatial clustering of applications with noise, right? It's a powerful algorithm that can easily solve the non-convex problem where K means fills. Right, so here with the, the data set, uh, uh, we will explain how your k-means fails uh, with the non-convex problem, right, in this session. And also I will discuss here the scikit learn code for the DB scan algorithm. So as we know that uh, the uh, DB scan algorithm is based on the two parameter that is epsilon, right, uh, 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 and uh, the minimum samples, right. So here we need to pass these two parameters to the DB scan algorithm in this uh, scikit learn code also. So here let us create first the data set. So here by using the inbuilt function. So here is the scikit learn code for creating the data set. So from sklearn dot data set import make underscore moons, right? So because it is an, uh, the algorithm uh, which is um, uh, more useful for the non-convex problem. So we have created here, we will consider the data set that will of the, uh, uh, this problem, right? So here number of samples we have considered as a 1000 and here with this statement, right? X comma Y equal to make moons, right? Uh, here we are passing the parameters number of sample which is 1000 here and noise because we know that uh, db scan uh, algorithm handles the uh, noisy data um, efficiently we are considering the noise in the data set so now noise parameter also we have set while creating the data set here so if we uh, plot this data set in the graph so this is the graphical representation of my data set right moon data set here so if we use here k-means clustering algorithm, right? As we know that for the non-convex problem, the k-means algorithm fails. And if we uh, apply the k-means algorithm for this data set, right? So it will find the cluster, the result of the k-means clustering algorithm will be like this. So here my uh, data said k means clustering will find here these two clusters one is of this uh, blue line right you can uh, see here blue dots and second cluster is of the red color dots right so k means algorithm will form this cluster in their result which is definitely not the uh, appropriate solution right and that's why we go for here the db scan algorithm so here of course my this separation is unacceptable and there is no way to improve the accuracy and there's four we need to use here the db scan algorithm Right now, here we'll see the scikit learn code for the DB scan algorithm. So, here in the DB scan algorithm, we need to pass two values epsilon value. So, here we will set epsilon value 0 0.1, and the default value is 5 for the minimum samples. Right? So, for minimum points uh, or minimum sample by default my scl library takes what five so as per your requirements you can set any value here so again to find the optimal value for the epsilon and minimum sample is a part of your research right so for this example now we will consider the epsilon value 0.1 and by default uh, value that is five for the minimum sample so here is the scikit learn code for the db scan which is again very simple as uh, like your other algorithm so from sklearn.cluster right import db scan so here my uh, uh, inbuilt class is db scan capital right so need this uh, class is defined under which library sklearn.cluster right then you can create the object of this db scan here so dbs is the name of my object equal to db scan epsilon we are passing as a parameter here 0.1 for setting the radius of the cluster and uh, by default it will take the value of minimum sample 5 so here we have skipped the minimum sample so it will take 5 value 
Then after creating the object, you can fit the model. So here we, uh, we are using the fit predict function, which will find the uh, labels of the each and every point in the X data set and that we are sending to the Y variable, right? So if we plot here Y, right, which is the identified label of the different data points in the data set, right? So you will get these clusters, right? So if you observe here, my DB scan has predicted the label during the training process correctly as compared to the k-means algorithm, right? So all blue are in the blue cluster and all red are in the red cluster. Only few points are there. Those are misclassified. For example, this blue point, this blue point, and this blue point. Only three points are there. Those are out of the clusters here. I hope soon you are uh, clear with this, right? So like you are uh, uh, DB scan algorithm, there is a spectral clustering, right? So the it is more um, uh, powerful than the uh, uh, DB scan algorithm, right? So here we will see the uh, scikit-learn code for the spectral clustering, right? So from sklearn.cluster import spectral clustering. For spectral clustering, my inbuilt class is spectral and C is capital clustering. Right. Then here we need to mention the gamma values, right? So these are set here uh, using the uh, NP package that is uh, um, uh, for the numerical operation 0, 12, 4, right? And for gamma in uh, uh, gammas, uh, we have uh, created here the uh, object of the uh, spectral clustering, SC equal to spectral clustering, number of clusters are two here, right? And also here we need to mention the function. So affinity uh, function, we have mentioned RBF, right? And gamma value will take from this gamma, right? So gamma equal to gamma. And uh, we are appending this value of the predicted uh, uh, model into the uh, ES array here, right? YSS. So for the different values of the gamma, gamma, my spectral algorithm will form the different clusters and uh, we, we can uh, find the optimal solution by considering these different values of the gamma, gamma here, right? So once you are um, done this, you can try the spectral clustering for the different affinity functions. So here affinity is now nearest neighbor. And if we pass the affinity nearest neighbor in the spectral clustering, you will get this uh, form of the clusters, right? I hope soon you are clear with this. Thank you.